Do you have a YouTube channel? If so, then you may want to check this one out. One of the best ways to drastically improve your video quality is to use a camera slider. Sliders are used to give you that awesome panning shot that everybody seems to love. But sliders can get expensive. What the industry considers a cheap slider is usually around that $100 to $200 range. And once you get those fancy electric sliders, the price can jump up as high as $1,000. I don't know about you guys, but that's a lot of money to dish out on a slider, especially when you consider that YouTube is just a hobby and not a full-time job. So I decided to look into the cheaper sliders, and I tried out a $100 slider on Amazon. I knew it was cheap, but it had great reviews, so I went for it anyway. And the slider was terrible. It was so bumpy and just unusable. I returned the slider basically the next day and gave up hope on sliders until GearBest asked me to review theirs. The slider from GearBest was just $42, and I know what you guys are thinking. If a $100 slider sucked, then why bother with a $40 slider? I thought the same thing, but decided to give them a try anyway. Now before I even talk about what I like and what I don't like about the slider, I just want to give you guys a look for yourself of what footage I took using the slider. <laughs> Now the slider isn't ready to go out of the box, you will need some extra accessories. I had an old cheap tripod laying around that I decided to use and also a cheap head as well. Links to buy everything will be in the description. Now these are very very cheap and super basic pieces of equipment so don't expect all star quality but you can achieve good quality. I did shoot all that footage with a Sony a6500 which has in body stabilization so I know some of you may view that as cheating. But using a super cheap adapter I found on Amazon, I was able to use my iPhone 6 to take some shots and as you can see, it's still very smooth even with the iPhone. So here are my conclusions with this slider. Overall, I mean, you pay, I think it's like $40 for these and it actually works pretty well. If you saw some of my shots kind of wiggled up and down, that was this problem. <laughs> this, this was the uh, cause of it. It's a very uh, limited tripod and you can see it just kind of easily wiggles and it's really not meant this isn't meant to uh be held up by something like this but right here this slider i'm actually really impressed by it you just kind of loosen that knob up right here and you can see it just kind of slides really nice now it does wobble a little bit you can see right like there's a little bit of play and for the money that you can kind of expect that i mean there's gonna be a little bit of play in this uh plate right here i mean the main difference is that with a really high-end tripod you're gonna have less do-overs. It's just gonna work the first time, whereas this might take you two or three other times. So anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed. If you did, please remember to leave a like. All links to get everything will be in the description. Take care, bye-bye.